Hey kids, let's talk about the experiment that we're going to do this week. So we're doing drops uh, of water on a penny. And what this is really testing is the surface tension of water. So what you're going to see um, for this lab are two pages. This is the first one um, that you can see I have selected here is more your informational page uh, that does have all the procedures as well as the tools. And then this is actually going to be the lab report page. And so you're going to see lots of blanks here. And that's where you're actually going to be filling in information. So let's go back here um, to the informational page. So the purpose of this lab is really more to practice the steps of the scientific method. Um, and just a fun way to do that is by putting drops of water on a penny. So tools that you're going to need, a medicine dropper, or a pipette, which we have plastic ones at school. If you need to come by and pick one up, that's just fine. You'll need one penny and then a small container of water. So not a whole lot of water. Procedures, before beginning the lab, you're gonna fill in your hypothesis on the lab report page. So we'll get to that uh, in just a second. You need to make sure that you have not, um, You've not skipped ahead to this, okay? You need to make sure you've watched the scientific method brain pop video. You need to also uh, do your scientific method anchor charts and look through those slides before you do this lab, okay? So on the lab report page, I've already filled in some information for you. So remember um, on the anchor chart for the scientific method, we started by asking a question. And so the question that we're looking to answer here is which side of the penny, the heads or the tails, is gonna allow the most drops of water to be placed on it before the water spills off. So that's the question that we're gonna to attempt to answer um, with this experiment. So we know the second step is where we do research or we gather information. I've already filled this in for you uh, with some of the knowledge I have about a water molecule. So we know water um, exhibits surface tension and that's the ability for those water molecules to cling to one another and not break apart. Um, say for instance, a water glider is an insect that can actually walk on water. And it's because it is so light and it has special little um, insect legs that allow it to walk on the water. Um, but it's also the surface tension in the water that allows that to happen. And in this experiment, it's really more the surface tensioning allowing it not to spill over. So a water molecule, if we really broke it down, you see at the top here, I say H2O. That's what the molecule is made of. Um, it has cohesive properties, meaning that um, it sticks to one another. So one H2O sticks to another H2O, or it's attracted to it. And then it also exhibits adhesive pro properties. Um, so adhesion is where water molecules like to stick to other surfaces. And this is what um, allows water to have such a strong surface tension. So with all of this information in mind, and knowing that we are working on a penny, we are looking at the variable and our variable is going to be the side of the penny. The only thing that we're changing, we're going to use the same water, we're going to use the same medicine dropper, and we're going to try our best to use the same technique every time we drop a, a, a drop of water on the penny. So the variable here is going to be your heads or tails of the penny. Okay, so your hypothesis, you're going to type it here or write it if you print this out. And it's your educated guess. So which side of the penny do you think would allow more drops of water to be placed there? And so you have to think about surface tension. If there's lots of interference with those water molecules sticking together or being cohesive, then there's going to be um, a less likelihood those water droplets are going to stay on the surface and they're going to just spill off. So think about that. We need to do this in our if then, so remember on our anchor chart, we said if, then, and you basically have to fill in the blanks. If the head side of the penny is smoother and has less bumps, then it will allow more water to be placed on it before spilling off. That's just one example of a hypothesis. You may choose something different, okay? Next in our scientific method, we see that you have the experimental procedures you would typically have to fill this in. However, I have done that for you on this previous page, and that's where it's um, outlined here, procedures. So make sure you fill in your hypothesis on the second page before you actually begin uh, the experiment. So let's go back up here to our experiment. 
the procedures. You're going to start with the head side up of your penny. Carefully use your medicine dropper or your pipette to drop individual drops of water on the surface of the penny, being very careful not to shake the table or knock your penny around because um, then the water will spill off and you'll have to start all over. You need to make sure that you count each drop that you put onto the surface of the penny. If you're not counting, guess what? You have no data to record on your lab report. Once you have placed the last drop of water that causes the water to spill off the penny, that's the number you're going to record. So you see here in step five, record your total number of drops for that trial. So if we go to our lab report, under data, trial one, you're working on the head side. You're going to put a number here in this first box of how many drops you got to stay on the penny. Okay? You're going to start all over. You're going to repeat the head side two more times for a total of three trials. Okay? So if we go back over here to our procedures, you see that we say repeat the steps we just talked about. But this time we're going to use the tail side of the penny. And so we also have a data table here, trial one, trial two, and trial three for the tail side of the penny. So you should have numbers in all three of the boxes for heads and all three of the boxes for tails. And those numbers are indicating the total number of drops you got to stay on there. Now, some of you may um, get numbers that are very similar and then others may get numbers that are very different. There's lots of different things that could come into play um, with affecting how many drops of water you get on there. So on analyzing and evaluating your results, you are going to look at your trials. Are they similar? Uh, were there any trends in the data? So were your numbers for heads small? Were your numbers for tails small? Did you see any trends? Were you able to get more drops um, on the penny with each trial because maybe your technique improved? Okay. And then lastly, you're going to type or write your conclusion. So based on your data, based on the analysis of your results, what um, did you figure out? What did your results tell you? Were you able to get more drops on the penny side or the head side of the penny? more drops on the tail side of the penny, and why. So your conclusion is where you're trying to put your why, okay? Um, I hope you have fun with this experience. It's a very simple experiment. Um, and if you have any questions, please let us know.